Are you looking to build funnels to sell products because it's just more profitable? I mean, you have upsells, downsells, bonuses, and perks to make more money. Now think about McDonald's. When you go buy a combo, there's all, they're always asking you if you want to make it a medium for X amount of money. Do you want to make it large for X amount of money? Well, they're making upsells. They're selling more because of those perks. Well, that is possible with a WP Funnels. This one is based on WordPress. So that means that you buy it and you can use it forever. There's no need to pay month to month like you would, for example, ClickFunnels, which is really expensive. Plus, you have all the flexibility of WordPress. You have their builder, you can do way more things with it, and it's, I mean, it's, there's a lot of things that's possible with WordPress. So let's go check this out right now. Thanks to today's sponsor, which is Hostinger, I will be doing a giveaway. I'm going to give out one lifetime deal of WP Funnels. All you have to do is comment what you think about WP Funnels. So in a week, I will be announcing the winner. Don't forget to join and comment. This is today's video sponsored, which is Hostinger, a hosting company that has great prices. Now, as I mentioned before, I've made a video on Hostinger. If you guys wanna check it out, that link will be in the description. Let me show you really quickly how you can take advantage of my coupon, which is SAS Master. All you have to do is choose your hosting plan. Let's go into web hosting and let's choose one of these hosting plans. Let's select this one, which is the most popular one, premium shared hosting. And if you select anything up from 12 months, you can take advantage of this coupon. All you have to do is select have a coupon, enter SAS Master, add it, and you get an extra discount. So take advantage of that coupon. Now let's head on over to WP Funnels deal. This is the deal that's going on right now and it's $59 for the lifetime deal. That means you pay once and use forever. You can check out that link in the description in case you guys wanna help me out with a small commission. Now, let me show you what that actually gets you. So let's go down here to the license. You get five sites for $59 and you get unlimited users. So that means five sites and that's lifetime. If you need 15 sites, you can jump into license tier two and license tier three gets you unlimited sites. So you can install it on all the sites that you have without any problems. Now, let's go into my actual WP Funnels installation. Now, all you have to do, which is pretty easy, and I'm going to show you, is install the plugins. Go into, go into your WP Funnels account, download the plugins, and grab the license key from your dashboard. Once you install those licenses in your WordPress installation, you go into plugins, add new, install them, and you activate them. So it's already activated. Next thing that it's going to do is take you to the setup wizard. Let's go into WP Funnels, settings, and I'm gonna kick off the setup wizard again. I already did it, but I'm going to do it for you on this video. Now you have to select sales funnels and you can you have the option to install cart lift if you like, okay? Let's go next. You're going to select your builder type. Now, depending on what you're using for a builder is what you, you should choose. An example, I'm using Gutenberg for this installation, but you have also Elementor and Divi as an option, which are pretty popular um, theme builders. Let's go next. You have the permalink setting. You can use your default WordPress permalink or you can choose your own from here. I'm going to leave it as default for WordPress. The funnel base, I'll keep it at funnel and the state base will be called steps. Let's go next. There we go. It's gonna take you to, through a quick walkthrough, but we're gonna go into create a new funnel. Now let's go ahead and start our new funnel. Let's go into create your first funnel because you're gonna see how simple this actually is to build a funnel with the visual creator. Now we can go ahead and start from scratch, but to show you the, the capabilities of how easy this is, we're gonna choose from one of the templates. Heads up, if you select scratch, that means that we have to build every single page, the landing page, the checkout page, and the thank you page, and upsells and downsells. If we select from one of these templates, I'll preview it, we can, it's gonna load in everything like this. It's gonna look nice. All we have to do is customize it to our own liking, okay? So we can choose any of the ones right here. And in this case, I'll choose this one. It's a three-step funnel, but it's super easy. Load it in and we have the visual builder. We have our landing page, which I'll click on it. I can go ahead and view it. So how is that landing page going to look? Well, just like I said, right there, easy. What if I want to edit that landing page? I'll click on the pencil, 
and it's going to open up the editor. In this case, I'm using Gutenberg because that's what I selected. Um, really good um, theme builders is VB and Elementor if you want to choose those. But there we go. We have the options to edit our funnel right here. I'm going to quit this right here. I'm heading out. Let me go back. Oh, leave. There we go. I'm going to keep it as it is because I don't want to take a lot of time editing. Okay, so that's our landing page. That's where we get started. I'm going to show you how to add steps in a bit. Next we have is the checkout. This is a simple funnel. So it's landing, checkout, and thank you. Now you're going to see there's a red text right here. No product added because I haven't added any. Let's go into the settings. I can also view it and edit it in the editor. In this case, in this case we'll go into settings and I'm going to add my product. These products have to be added on WooCommerce products, okay, which is installed automatically. So I've added this one, Hostinger test. I'll add the product. It's already set by the price, the quantity, and I can allow use of coupons if you have that available or if you want to enable it or not. You can enable quantity selection if you want to allow them to select two, three, four, five. I can do an order bump to make more money. So let's just say I'll add an order bump, select the style. You can see the example on the right, style two. I like style one. You can order the bump position before order details, before checkout, um, just where we want to set it. Order bump main color, black, select product. In this case, I've only added one product, so we'll select the, the same one. And let's just say, for example, if they select this, Postinger, and just an example, grab this offer with a click. The original price, no, we're gonna set a percentage for this. From the sales price, I'm going to discount another 20%. So it's gonna turn out to $20. $20. So that means that if they buy the product and they select that one, they're gonna get an extra discount. So let's go ahead and save this. Super easy, right? Let's go. Now we have the order bump and we don't have that warning to add a product. Next we have is the thank you page. I can go ahead and view it, which is pretty simple. Thank you. That background color, you could change it on the customizer for WordPress. Okay, so simple funnel. We have landing, we have checkout, and we have a thank you page. I can go ahead and view it. Here we go. Check it out. Here's a funnel. If I go to get it today, we have the checkout page. Here it is. We have to fill in the billing details. We have additional information. We have our offer right here from the bump up. Grab this offer with one click. So now it's added that extra host hosting, for example, um, product with that extra discount because I'm choosing two. It's just an example of how you could use it. It could be something else like, hey, you know what? It's a ebook or something that you want to give out extra. Super simple and you place the order and it's gonna take you to this, the thank you page. That's how easy it is, all right? Now, what if we want to make this a little bit more complex? Well, we have steps, okay? So we already have a landing page. We can use these templates if we, for example, start on scratch, we have templates available, but we can start from scratch. If I wanna change the landing page, there's another checkout style. So let's just say I don't like the one that was available from the template, I can choose another one. The thank you page, I can choose another one. And we have upsells and downsells. Again, we can use these start from scratch or we can use these templates. Let's go ahead and import this one. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to insert it uh, after the checkout. So I'm gonna click on this arrow. I'm gonna right click it. I'm gonna click X to delete it. Let's put it up here. And now let's add the checkout here. There we go. And connect this one here. Now we have an upsell just like that. All right. It added the step to the page and that's how it's going to flow. That's what I like about the visual builder. And we can add down sales just like I added, added the upsell. Now, another cool part is the conditions. Let me show you. So for example, I'll add another down sell. I'll add this one. There we go, let's add it here. Let's go ahead and delete this one, this arrow, okay? And we're gonna add a condition to it. So we'll add a condition right here. Let's move this this way. Let's add our step, how it's going to flow. And if it's true, it's gonna go to the upsell and it says false, it's gonna go to the downsell, okay? Now, what can we do with it? I'm gonna click on the condition, click on the pencil, 
And we can do, for example, on the field, what's the condition going to be? If it's going to be on the order bump, eh, we'll choose that one. Okay. If the order bump is, for example, accepted, save changes, that's true. So if they accept the order bump, it's going to go to the upsell. So it could be meaning like, hey, you know what? This person is buying the extra perks. So most likely he'll want an upsell or a downsell. Okay. It's just going to depend how you want to use it on your conditional logic. But just like that, I added a conditional logic. Depending on what's going on, I'm going to set the condition. There's also the cart total. So if the cart total is, um, I don't know, greater than $1,000, then safe. It's going to be true and it's going to go to the upsell or the downsell, etc. And that's how you can work with the conditional logic. Now, what I like about this WP funnels is how easy it actually is to use and build because I'm visualizing it, how it works. And I guess one of the things that I like the most about WP funnels is the that it's actually on WordPress because on WordPress, I feel comfortable, comfortable with it because I can do a lot of things with it. I can install more plugins. I have my cash plugins, my other type of themes I can do at, I mean, lots of things that you can do with WordPress that makes it really flexible. So having all of that and having my funnels here makes it really great. And also if I am already comfortable with the theme builder that I'm using, for example, I use Vibi a lot or Elementor. I know that I can make this super customizable. For example, the checkout page, if I want to edit that checkout page, Obviously, Gutenberg is pretty simple, but I can edit the custom page, how it looks, for example, the background, what it says and all that stuff, because I know how to use it. Let's leave. That's what I like about WordPress. It's a lot of flexibility and having this easy to use plugin for funnels makes it really nice. But there you go. That is WP funnels. And again, I want to say thank you to our sponsors for today's video, which is Hostinger. Their shared accounts are pretty good and I recommend them because they have great support with that shared hosting. Well, I thank you all for watching. My name is George. This is Sassmaster and I'll see you guys later.